Let's, let's move into a bit of a headache that happened early Friday morning and was actually resolved late Friday night. At fucking um, midnight. <laughs> early Friday morning, uh, which, by the way, a company kind of trying to pass um, very bad negative news will typically do it Friday mornings when uh, sites aren't as likely to cover and it passes by the weekend. So no one's going to talk about it because everyone's off work. Uh, but early Friday morning, Xbox became informed began informing Xbox Live customers that the prices for the subscription for gold would be doubling, uh, bringing a full year's worth of service from $60 to 120 cool. the, uh, the gold team stated that in many markets, the price for Xbox Live Gold has not changed for years, and in some markets, it hasn't changed for over 10 years. Um, Xbox Live itself has become a redundant service in the face of Game Pass, which includes the benefits of the former while providing the best value in gaming. And... Um, so, so basically, even if I think it's basically easy for anyone to see that this entire move is just a push people into Game Pass and we'll, we'll get into or there was a not an article, uh, an, an analyst basically went and just said, yes, there was no reason for them to raise the price. This is 100 percent a move to push people into buying Game Pass. And the way to do that was to make the default option so undesirable that they pick the better option. Um, but this being said, uh, platform holders charging players for the right to play online and access free to play games is a relic of the past. And you'll be hard pressed to find a single comparable service that isn't provided for free on PC where you don't have to play, pay to play online. Um, oh, you technically really have to pay for internet. <laughs> oh, but that's the thing though. If you're, if you're playing on Xbox, you're paying for internet and to play online. Yeah, right? no, no. You can by McDonald's. Right. But there is there is a lot of backlash to this, and Xbox rescinded all plans for this uh, the same day later on that at night. Midnight. At yeah. midnight. And they also announced that free-to-play games are now going to be free-to-play. You will not need uh, Xbox Live Gold to play those. Yeah, they said that that's being rolled out, I think they said, before the spring, if I remember they said. Like like they said, they're actually trying to roll it out now, but they said it's going to take a little bit. Mm. But yeah, this was incredibly sketchy, especially after I found out that if you bought like X that that the Xbox Live Gold family account was being pushed up to a hundred dollars a month or oh, something wow. like that, and I was like, oh my god! I was like, no, because like because like at first, because I I'm a Game Pass sub, um, I, it's one hundred percent the best deal in gaming. It's great. I haven't bought an Xbox game in fucking ages. Because I could just download it. Um, at first, I was like, okay, they're pushing people to Game Pass. That's fine. But then I was reading at how many people... Because I know Zombie, Zombie brought up the fact that how expensive it would be for her, for her family to have Xbox Live Gold. And I was like, oh, that's a shit ton of money to pay monthly or like even to pay yearly. I was like, that's not okay. And people all day were like pointing out how much they would have to pay for their like families or how much they would have to pay for themselves. And then Jose, you even brought up like, like, Oh, if you're not using your X Xbox, get ready to just cancel your, 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 your sub until a game comes out that you really want to play. Yeah. That, that's what I typically do in general with most subscriptions. Like if I see something I want, I'll re up my subscription if it's a, if it's a month by month and I'll just, I'll go in and do the thing I need. Or, or no, I'm sorry. I'll I'll buy the subscription. I'll immediately cancel it, so I get it for that month, and then just do whatever. If I need to resubscribe, I do it. I I would recommend basically everyone do that universally for everything. But I think the thing that's most disappointing about the situation is that Xbox has garnered so much fucking goodwill over the mm -hmm. last couple of years, yeah, like specifically was, through Game Pass as well. Yeah, it was incredibly testy of of them. I feel like they were kind mm -hmm. of hoping that people would go off their good goodwill and be like, oh, they just want people to go on Game Pass. This will get so many more people to go on Game uh, Game Pass. At least that's what I got from it. But it's like I mean, saying, I, you raise your prices up to a hundred dollars a fucking month. That's not goodwill to anybody. That's just you know, nickel and diamond mm -hmm. people. It's it's like yeah, Game Pass is a damn good value, and I think any anyone who likes games should probably try the service out. But like making such an aggressive push by punishing people that haven't migrated over that that's that's not very consumer friendly whatsoever. Yeah. Like, so like tell mean, people the incentives, maybe give them a another trial discount or something. I don't know. The one thing I want to bring up is how people were like, oh, good guy, Microsoft, for like changing it back. N no, it th they're still shitty for doing it in the first place. 
for having to like hopefully garner the good the goodwill of the people mm-hmm. to be able to be like oh we can raise the prices and no one will bat well like bad night it's like no that's still shitty what you did and they try to pass it off friday morning yeah, too. and then be like oh don't worry games are gonna go free to play with without gold now that should have been in the first place i i think um i, I hit it a little bit in the uh in the write-up here um i don't think you should ever have to pay to play online like on, on pc you, you don't pay like we're not talking about like paying your your ISP or fucking Comcast or whatever. That that's its own thing. But there is no reason why you should have to pay either Sony or Nintendo or Xbox to 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 play online. Like the games you're playing, those are not hosted by the platform holders. Those are still hosted by the devs. It's still the exact same practices that they're doing on PC. If you want a chat thing, there's there's third party stuff. We're using Discord right now. That's that's completely a free service. I know someone brought up like platform level moderation which is nice but i don't think that justifies like a yearly subscription just to hold shitheads online yeah. accountable so I, I i think like the the pay to play online is such a relic of the past that xbox did back on the og xbox which you know what back then it was it was unheard of being able to play a console online so yeah credits to them back then but um it's just such a relic of the past. And like, that's what I liked about game pass. It's just like, you're getting a hell of a value for what is it? It's ultimate that has gold in it. That's 15 bucks a month. I'm like, yeah, $15 a month for this incredible service. Fuck. Yeah. Constantly $1 for your first month. Like they're constantly running this like $1 deal Mm -hmm. for like your first month, which is how I signed up to game pass. I wasn't a part of game pass at first because I didn't see any point to it. And then during E3, Microsoft was like, Hey, here's our games with gold ultimate. Where it gives you gold and Game Pass for a dollar. I think it was your first three months. And I was just like, well, shit, it's a dollar. Uh, I, I have a dollar in right, right, right here. Take it. And then I ended up using game, game Pass far more than I thought I was going to, which is why I stayed signed up to it. But like Microsoft is actively doing so much to push people to at least try it for like a month. Like almost fucking almost every physical Xbox, like, microsoft published xbox game that i have bought comes with the free month of game pass mm-hmm. i like, think it's just more so like that like, you buy comes with the free three months of game pass yeah i think it's definitely more just of um the game pass as a strong inherent value whereas as as a consumer you're not getting something out of xbox live that you shouldn't already be getting for free but um in the chats uh glorious war points out that a lot of people that they know aren't interested in game pass because they play two to three games a year such as fifa call of duty or a big open world game so why would they subscribe to a more expensive service which in this case would be game pass and like outside of the value it gets like I, i totally understand that um but but like i guess i it's not so much a counter so much as a compliment just like i don't think people should even have to pay for for to play online oh also don't forget uh game pass subscribers are also now getting ea play completely free that's true so like and that's and that i think was like 20 dollars a month because it got Uh, you access to like all the brand new ea games like a week early so it's like that's adding twenty dollars onto that value, which one hundred percent makes Game Pass the best value right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I guess I've kind of gone on for a while. Mesa and Corey, I'm interested in what the two of you have to say on the overall story. You know, if, if you want to extrapolate anything from there. Um, I mean, I only just heard about this today, like very briefly, and then you expanded on it um because i had i had no idea this was going on but i'm surprised you didn't see it because twitter blew the fuck <laughs> up <laughs> I, I, in the morning twitter was like excuse us <laughs> well i that's just because i i'm not i'm not so, a to be fair to Corey, i think he saw that everyone was talking about the tall lady from resident evil he just dipped out of twitter for the whole week and he's like fuck this yeah. <laughs> i was like no i'm not tall, about lady, talk? tall lady talk <laughs> like i i like uh don't get me wrong i like her but for different reasons um but I'm not a big, like, I'm not, like, a huge Xbox person, so that's probably why I wasn't really following that news. Um, I mean, I do use Xbox Game Pass, but for PC, that which is why I'm able to uh, download and stream the medium this Friday. <laughs> the plug. <laughs> Shameless Same. plug. <laughs> I forgot about that. Thanks yeah. for reminding me. 
<laughs> um, you're welcome. But uh, yeah, no, I don't really have anything to add. I think you guys all said it all. Mm-hmm. What about you, Mesa? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much in the same boat. Um, the only thing is, um, I just, I, I, I really don't understand what they were, what, what they thought was going to happen. Um, unless, of course, this is exactly what they thought was going to happen, mm-hmm. um, which we shouldn't, you know, it's, it's very possible that the, that's the case. Yeah, um, k- kudos to them for walking back on it, but it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Um, yeah, like $120 for gold? Really? Ridiculous. Come on, guys. That's insane. Come on, that, that, that's not even like a $10 increase. That's literally fucking double the price. Yeah. <laughs> We're still in a pandemic. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, you should be lowering the price. Like, mm-hmm. 